Hi, this is Ken from Cat Image, and in this little movie I'm going to run through and show you how to use the new polyline input method for our Cat Image stairs tool. We'll start by taking a look at freehand design, and to begin, what I'll do is just set the overall parameters such as total rise for the stair, the width, and whether I insert width the left, the right, or the centre point as a reference line. To place this, I'm just going to start to draw down here somewhere. And what you'll see is we get our rubber band polyline stair follows the mouse, but also this stair placement pet palette appears. You can move it around the screen like the usual pet palettes, but it's broken into two parts. First bit is the actual drawing methods. So we have straight edge, we have curves based on tangents, we have curves based on points that we define centers or points on the edge, etc. At the end, there's also two buttons. These allow us to switch between the two structure types. So that is, are we creating a stair leg or are we creating a landing leg? So I'm starting with a stair and I'm just going to come along here a little bit. Set that first piece. I'm then going to switch to a landing. I want to do like a quarter turn. So we'll bring this somewhere beyond 900 because we have a 900 wide stair. Again, bring this further forward. Go back to a stair. And off we go and finish by clicking again on the second point. And you'll see that's created the shape and the geometry for me. If I go back into the settings now, pick a different stair type, keep it narrow, we'll reduce that size, and I'm going to choose the left hand corner for the insertion point. So I'm then going to draw from here, I'll draw my first leg, whatever length it happens to be. I've actually stopped there, this is the end of the first leg, and this time what I want is a quarter turn with winders. So what I'm going to do is go beyond 800, and I'll actually type in 850. Bring this across at 90 degrees, again for 850. And what that does is use those two little parts of the leg for that part of the stair to create the kites and the winders. And then if I just finish this off up here somewhere, 1325, click again to finish, and there we go. 